Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, this is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 5 of Let's Play Operencia, The Stolen Sun. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to see more Operencia. And I hope you guys are enjoying the LP, if you've watched it thus far, I really appreciate that. That's pretty awesome. Today, well, we defeated the Frog King, King Brick. And um, he defeated the dragon for us for some unknown reason that I can't quite grasp. But uh, we're exploring the rest of his castle, which, in my opinion, should be filled with some loot and goodies. So let's uh, come through here. Two ways we can go. We can go down that way. We can go over this way. We're on the hunt for a statue's head as well. Let's go this way. Let's see where this leads. We can go downstairs. We can go in the water. What are we in the water for exactly? I've been here before, according to my map. So, that's not the way to go. That's a shortcut to get out. This would be, be the way to go. With either up or down. Let's head down. Haha. <laughs> Last chance to run and survive this encounter. Uh, let's go ahead and just get that sorcerer out of here. Easy shot. Ooh. Four and Children of the Wind. Initiative decreased and he is sleeping. Okay. Uh, that's one way to wake him up. Or wake me up. I'm going to go ahead and attack you. And uh, hope for a tanner. Oh, a niner. And we've got a taunt. We're getting rocked by these skeletons. Should be a death now. Nice. Easy shot. Missed again. Did eight. Missed again. Um, let's do a leg shot. I don't think that's going to matter against him. This encounter rocked us sideways. Oh, there we go. Soon. Rusty sword. Just think of how humiliated your enemies will be when they fall to such an awful weapon. We're about to level up again. Fifty gold. down here. It's 50 gold. And a skeleton. It seems like I'm probably missing some secrets, but maybe not. up and from here let's go ahead and head up there's more enemies this should be the last tower you ready is anyone ever truly ready to face what this castle has to offer oh Sounds there's like your dream there was a little vague on the specifics there's still a tower there is still 
still a tower. There we go. That's what I like to see. Um, let's get some herbalism on you. Go. Hopefully this level up comes soon. 27 gold. Well, we can go up further. It's a big axe. Nothing on the racks we can use. Nothing going up there. Such varied graphics. I mean, quite a lot went into this. So behind both shields. Okay, up we go. I don't hear any more walking around. We can go further up. Fireplace. Nothing. Nothing on the table. Wow. So this is totally empty. Solve the runic puzzle and save the remaining captives. We can trap some light in our vial from this light spring. Let's see what happens from there. Okay, the vial of light can be filled at light springs for a short amount of time. They magically seal the doors. When the vial of light is active, you may notice nearby items are close you get to a hidden rune, the brighter it gets, but as you explore the environment, the effect so expires. Hungry. I don't know why it went so fast through that. I was holding the mouse button, I think that's why. Ah. Well, would you look at that? A magic rune. Half my share of the rewards as it helps us unlock those doors. Ah, purity. A foreign concept to one such as myself. Oh, we need another rune. There's none up here. We'll have to go back down. Oh, it's lit up in the top right corner. I see. Maybe these weren't completely empty rooms. Oh, but it says I'm getting close to one. No? Or is that how much... Yeah, I'm getting close to one. Ah. It's right here. Hmm, must be on the floor below. So they weren't empty rooms. There we are.
innocence. Whoever designed these rune keys was absolutely not thinking of me at the time. So, ready to collect the reward, dear dreamer? We can always return later here once we've camped. No, I'm not, because... There's a room down in the basement that we have not found. Of course, there's that room. We're getting closer to one. There's still secrets here. I've got to go get that vial of light again. This is going to take a while. A long while. And if I want the secrets, I'm going to have to do this. here. Going the wrong way. It's gone again. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should just collect that reward. Let me head back down where that rune was if I can find it again. I think it was... We still have a chest key, don't we? No, we used the chest key. No, we still have a chest key. What treasures await you? Secret found. Oh yeah, this was open when we pressed that. Uh, switch that killed the dragon, or that got the dragon killed. Um, where do we go? There's a chest right there. Leather shoulder pad and five gold. <laughs> Movement is so snappy and fluid, it really helps. Um, that wasn't our chest key, though. The shoulder pad. The shoulder pad makes wearers look bigger and stronger while offering some decent protection as well. Um, you'd lose two agility. Let's give it to you then. Two vigor. Very nice. New weapon. The rusty sword. Still a chest key. And that rune room somewhere back here, right there. And the 
chest in there. I hate leaving secrets unsolved, but this might have to be unsolved. Because frankly, I can't think of a way to solve it. Oh, that's where that chest is. Don't know about the statue's head. I think we saw a head somewhere in the beginning. So at least we can do that. I remember seeing a statue head somewhere. Good luck trying to figure out where though, right? take that. I think there was a head way on back. Like in the very beginning. seeing one. That's, um... Wow. It's a pretty huge place to be wandering around in. Oh? here. Very beginning. It's like a stone head on the floor. To retrace our steps and look for it. Maybe find some other secrets in the meantime. I mean, the head's got to be in some somewhere in here, right? This is back to the uh, dungeon or to the throne room. Let's come in the basement down here. Can't take that head. There's nothing down here. I'm going up. Pretty sure it was in a corner somewhere. Let's check this dungeon for this tower, I should say. Ah! Ow. 
pouch. Didn't know you could actually walk into pits. Maybe I'm mistaken. It does say we can return here after we camp, so maybe to get that last rune, we're gonna have to somehow return some other time. to find this head we'll have to return to. I know you guys are probably itching to see the next parts of the game, but I don't want to miss a secret if I can help it. their head in any cell. Is that where I saw it? Or I think I saw it. Maybe I didn't see a stone head. I'm just imagining it. It's also a possibility. secrets in here on the first run, but that might not even be possible. Maybe we found all we can.
Alright. searching so um let's just head out I guess if I checked in here Maybe we'll find the head in a totally different place than we ever expected, so. Alright. Um. Going the long way. Just. And this was just for that chest, right? no head or anything down here. Not much of anything. Alright. Okay guys, we're going to uh, Go on and get up out of here. Wait, let's check the wine cellar. I don't remember any head down here. this weird room. And then this weird one. There's a secret back there. How to access it. another part of the dungeon that we've yet to explore and we'll do so when we come back someday. Seems the statue of the king has lost its head. We should make them all like that so they match. here there's no head in here right just laying on the ground and this was the third tower or whatever I don't know
Um, oh, we have to go up that way. Go ahead and progress. What was in the basement of this one? Just an empty room. Seems a little suspicious. Set up. We'll give it one more shot to find that last rune. down here. No. There it is. Boom. Secret found. Armory. Yes. I knew there would be something. Um... Oof, now where was that armory secret? I'm gonna say we backtrack from this direction. Armory. It's not on this level, it's on this level. I believe. Is it back here? Yeah. Boom. Armory. Matthias gained a level. Yosuke gained a level. And we could find a head down here, possibly. Spellbook, a staff, and 62 gold. Let's see what the minor spellbook does. Requires 10 intelligence. Energy 4%, fire damage bonus 2%, lightning damage, frost damage, poison damage all 2%. Works well with the oak wand. Hmm. Pretty interesting. If we were to give... Say Yoska it would be an offhand weapon, right? Four energy and some damage bonuses. He could use the poison bonus. He's not quite a budding mage, though. All right, let's go ahead and level up. I am going to grab. This combat sense, heighten your senses to give 30% initiative bonus and 30% extra attack chance to all party members for two turns. That's what I wanted. And Yoska. I guess we can go ahead and get combustion. Create a deadly cloud to deal four to seven poison damage to your enemies and fire it up with the proper materials to deal three to seven fire over two turns. Asphyxiation. Uh, 
somersault. 9 to 16 plus weapon damage and decrease its defense and block chance by 30%. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab that instead of uh, combustion. Now let's get some points going. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Agility. Strength. And intelligence. And agility. Agility and intelligence. Alright. Um, that was the armory. Still more secrets to be found, I'm sure, but... Huh, there's a statue with its head over there. Would that be a hit to come over here? And pry it off? No. It does make me curious. Hmm. Okay, so that's the last secret I think we're going to be able to find. Oh. There's a lot of statues down here. You would think a head would be around here somewhere. Okay. Um. Next step then is to go down this way. What's in here? No. Oh. Looks like we've already explored it. You would think this would have a head in here somewhere. In storage. Go finish this, and we'll be on our way. And I like looking for secrets, but I can't really logically figure out where any more are. This may require a helmet from. It says we have a new weapon. Oh, the staff. A long pole used as a weapon. If I give it to you... You gain three hit rating, but a heck of a lot of loss of other things. Because you're losing your shield. So far, I th I'm thinking of going a pretty safe... Um... Dexterity and and strength. Um, I think that'll help. I just would think a head would be. For it would be in this dungeon somewhere. Like in one of these rooms. These had the runes. There's no head on the table. Ah! Ah! No. No head on 
the shelf. Okay, I am pretty much confident in uh, collecting my prize. Let's go ahead and do it. Beauty. Now that's something I can relate to. I thought I was gonna rot in that cage. Thank you. Can we follow you out? Of course. Wow. We did it, didn't we, Yoshka? Indeed. How does it feel to be a bona fide hero? It's not heroics, it's just what I was meant to do. Oh, then you won't mind if I take all the reward then, will you? <coughs> the duo exited the castle in triumph. But it was not long before a young knight crossed their path. Out of breath, Mezai greeted the companions with delight, but not without a great sense of urgency. Word has already spread of your deeds, the young hunter and the bandit. I come before you great heroes with a desperate plea. There's only one hero for you to thank this fine evening, and it's not me. Evening? Alas, sunrise was four hours ago. If you can call it that. Impossible. While you face the evil forces below, a new darkness fell upon the land. A literal darkness. It seems the sun has vanished. Like he said, impossible. <coughs> Unless there's a healthy sum of gold involved in whatever you ask of us, of course. Then I'm up for hearing you out. There is. Just one question. You with me, hero? No. You are with me. Haha. -ha. What exactly would you have us do, Meze? Find the sun. I'm sorry. What? Find the sun? <laughs> the king has apparently misplaced it. <laughs> you have the full support of the royal army, which, after so many failed attempts at freeing the prisoners, is now me. Well, how reassuring. But I must ask, how do we find the sun? I don't know, but I do know of someone who might. We must head to the great forest. Hmm. So I'm going to save here. Oh, we're going. In daylight, the great forest invites all with lush scenery and friendly animals. But when darkness falls, that is when thrive the creatures of the night. And with no sun to stop them, they've never been more active. They've never been hungrier. Take a deep breath and enjoy the woodland scent of the great forest. There's nothing else quite like it throughout all of Operentia. It's too bad it's also the only thing not out to kill you. Okay, we're here. Oh, dang. As they entered the forest, Meze spoke more of the person whom they sought. The Merchant of the Woods. <laughs> the traveling Taltush once told me he has the best weapons in the land, and the most knowledge. A Taltush? You really don't leave your home much, do you? Taltush are slaves to the old faith. The only thing crazier than their outlandish attire is their belief they have magical powers. Meze. We have come a very long way, and the path ahead of us is extremely dangerous. Are you sure about this? It's the best lead we have. That's good enough for me. Let's go. You hear those bugs all around us? I'll bet they're almost as big as we are. Let's hope you're wrong. Hmm. Okay. We've got a new journal entry. The Nine Widows. A short time after leaving the castle, we were joined by the nine beautiful young women we freed. During our little underwater adventure, their story is fascinating. Not only did they corroborate Breck's claims that they were to be sacrificed in an attempt to change him back to human form, but they also all had once been married. Every single one of them. This shocked me. 
But it gets stranger. They were also all widows, formerly married to Vicar's very nine knights who sank along with the castle. Those nine warriors did not become Zoldek. They died and became the first skeleton warriors of the castle. We probably killed them along the way. And I'm not done yet. Somehow, Breck was able to control them. A flaw in Vakar's curse, I suppose. And he ordered them to raid his brother's kingdom, returning with sacrifices. Whom did they choose? Their wives, that's who. Yes, every single captive we rescued was the widow of a skeleton warrior. How creepy is that? And I feel wretched for assuming all of them to be virgins. Kudos to the curse's creator for his penchant for avoiding cliché. <laughs> Powerful enemies. King Breck. Okay, we saw that. Um, solve the runic puzzle. All these are all completed. Quest, find the house of the merchant of the woods. Your new friend, the young king knight named Meze, has informed you that your best bet to find the sun is to seek the help of the mysterious merchant of the woods. Now you've got an enchanted forest to deal with, and not the good kind of enchanted. Dialogue. Alright, so let's see how long we've been playing. 47 minutes, so I'll wrap it up here. On um, Meze, we're going to have to check out. He's got a lot of strength and a lot of vigor. And we're going to have to put him in some gear next time. Um, I guess there's no, like, world map that we can choose. A, uh, um, path or anything. Still have that chest key. Filled with light springs for a short time. Secrets. Not all can be found before the area is completed, requiring items or abilities acquired later in the story. So that's what it's going to be. Talent points, attributes, level up, experience points. So, I will say thank you guys for joining me. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time, we'll go ahead and get check out the Enchanted Forest. I hope you'll join me for that. Much more fun to be had. As much more to come. So, hope to see you then. Much love, peace, and joy to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, and uh, take care. Fluent out.